Well, I think we've missed Wincy being out there on the water's edge all morning. It hasn't been the same without you in here, you know, Wincy. Is it a bit cold out there? No, it's positively tropical now, Nick. It's <laughs> gorgeous. It's re you see the sun? Look at that. It's blinding me now. It really is nice, actually. And I've got a chance now, just for a couple of minutes, to speak to the gentleman who so kindly allowed me to share this boat with him this morning. Um, with me here is Eric Reynolds, who is actually the, the person who's built this boat and um, done the whole thing from scratch. Did you build it from a kit, Eric? Not quite. It was just a pile of plywood. Really? And mm -hmm. how long did it take you? It took us about three months of very nearly full-time work. We, uh, we literally took a drawing and a heap of wood and worked in a little shed just up there. It's incredible, isn't it? What, what's so special about this boat? I know it's steam, but um, is, it, is it an old design or is it something that you designed yourself? It's a mixture of a lot of boats that would have looked something like this. It's a sort of Edwardian boat, but it's not precisely any one of the various ones that we chose to look at. And what's her name? Merlin. Oh, I thought, well, so do I call him him or her? <laughs> we just call it the old boat. The old boat. And what do you do normally with Merlin? Well, we use it to run trips up and down between here and the zoo. You know, London Zoo is just ten minutes in that direction. Yes, yes. Right. For, for everyone else like me that doesn't understand London at all, we're at Camden at the moment and Regent's Park's that way and it looks very nice at the moment. Now, I'm just going to have a word with Howard, Howard Wilson, who is the person who makes it all work, actually. Howard, what's so special about this uh, fascinating engine? Well, it's, it's just lovely that it's steam, that it's, it's something original, basically. So it's the sort of thing that the steam engine fanatics of the railway type get, get really excited about? Oh, very excited. Yeah. Yes, and so what sort of fuel is it that you use? At the moment we're using wood, but we, we do burn coal uh, most of the time. So, could you burn anything, or, or are you...? Well, just wood or coal, yes, basically, Yes, you, yeah. you can't sort of run it on rubbish, that kind of thing. Um, well, we try, we try. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's so much, I think we're going to hear the whistle at the, yeah. in a couple of minutes, OK. <laughs> right, well, uh, what you actually want to know is what about the weather. The rest of the country had a bit of a cloudy start this morning, but I think we're all seeing some sunshine now. Going to be a few showers around, a little bit of mist still on western coastal areas. Top temperature, eastern areas and central areas of England today at 23 degrees centigrade. Scotland's going to manage about 15 if you're really lucky and you're really nice to me. <laughs> anyway, Howard, get ready with your whistle, all right. Not just yet, you're ready. The sound man went potty when I tried this earlier. I'll be back in a couple of minutes to wave bye-bye. OK, Howard, let it go. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? Do you think Wincy's wonderful? Oh, I do. I, Wincy's done my aerobics routines. Has she? Oh, yes. She's, she's a very, very good at it, too. Mm. Yes. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? Yeah, done a wonderful job, yeah. I have to say that. He's now made up for every single insult he's been hurling out of the last <laughs> two weeks. Hopefully, yes. I also owe her a fiver. <laughs>